This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Because, yeah. I mean, my choice of words of collective was that with, from our previous conversation a few minutes ago, and I was just throwing that out. As, well, the, the as word well. exists, to, to and there's, there are yeah, but I was throwing out to get you a, to get a reaction from you, Brian. Yeah, Brian. not all collectives are automatically yeah. aggressive, yeah. but um, this is a concern about mm -hmm. focus. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think, uh, but see, you, I you think know, you're a pr perfect example, though, of how, I mean, you might be, on paper, my staunchest enemy here, and yet I know that if the federal mm -hmm. government were removed from the, from the picture, and New Hampshire could operate freely with its own system, not interfered with by Washington, that we'd work things out pretty well. Yeah, you know, but don't you think we're a part of a global world? And don't you really think... Yeah, just like Slovenia is more part of the world than it was when it was yeah, part of Yugoslavia. You know, well, don't you yeah. think, though, that we need to, um, to build networks and build um, um, allies and individuals and entities so that entangling alliances well, how many do we need you know, I mean, we like have, with we, pakistan well, is that working well, out <laughs> your argument is not to have a national government you're right you know i mean i think that's the first start is that we it would are be better we are a national probably. government made up of 50 sovereign states they're not the, sovereign anymore well, the feds still, interfere all the time they were up here poking around when we were trying to fix the real id thing that came in and wouldn't let us um, it was all behind the scenes, too. Couldn't even well, photograph them. I mean, uh, first of all, think of that real ID. I remember that issue. That was, what, six years ago or mm. three, four terms ago. Uh, what was the vote? There were two votes against Representative Kirk's motion the initial to, one. To, uh, to not support uh, real ID. So, so if we were so controlled and if we were under the thumb of this big national monolith, then why, why would we have voted whatever it was, 398 to two. The second time. You know, yeah. you know, I think what lose. happened was you know. publicity. Now, and on the other were... hand, you guys, I mean, you know, there's a strong movement. Last year, I was in sitting in transportation, and there was a strong movement. It was a, it was a very conservative Republican uh, from the North Country who wanted to do um, electronic licensing, uh, driver's license, which would save represent in the residents money who go to Canada. And it would be, uh, it would just be a little chip, and it would be voluntary, and you could choose to do it. Yeah, there's a little chip into your license that says when you go through, and it says boom, boom, and it reads, but it says this guy's been checked off, and he is who he says he is. That's that's what it is. You know? As long as no one's for being forced to do anything, right. then that's I'm right. not, right. I'm not here to fight but, that. But, but the forces, yeah. the forces of paranoia, rose, you know, from from uh, from everywhere, from around us, and they defeated that bill. Well, there's some guy, concern about chips. I mean. Well, you know, if, you, if someone can read from a distance of more than a foot, they can eventually read from more than a distance of 10 feet. You know, what, what's on such a device? Well, if this is, all this is going to say is that, you know, you are, you are Raymond Gagnon from uh, Claremont, New Hampshire, and that you were born on this particular date, in this particular uh, thing, and you're this age and so forth, and uh, you're an American citizen, then if that's the data, and that's the information, and that's just read by or, or well, collaborative... Well, if mean, Washington but, is to be, be believed, there are people all over the place who want to kill us just for that information. That we're American mm -hmm. citizens, they kill us for it, supposedly. Doesn't happen that often, but Washington would like us to think it does. Well, yeah, I think that is true, though. I mm. mean, don't you think? I mean, there are a few out there. Uh, I mean, yesterday I was talking to my my doctor, uh, my physician, and uh, uh, we were talking about dual citizenships and having passports. And she and her husband go to Italy a lot, and you know, wouldn't it be easier if they if they flew on an Italian passport? Representative GNA, who is a conservative Republican from Lincoln, will tell you how he once avoided a. Uh, uh, a revolution in Haiti by saying Francais, Francais, and speaking French versus saying, no, no, je suis pas un Américain, je suis uh, Francais. So, I mean, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that saved his, uh, his hide, yeah. got him on the plane and, and saved his life. Now, uh, so, so, I mean, there, I think there is, there is, it is accurate that, 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 um, so, that um, there are foreign forces out there who want to to kill Americans. So maybe we shouldn't be spewing our identities on uh, these chips. Well, yeah. I, um, 
I, I don't think that's the same thing, and I think that's apples and oranges. But I think that's the level of where paranoia builds up and mm -hmm. this anxiety uh, consumes everyone and says, aha, this is real ID again, you know, reeling its, its uh, big brother's head. Well, that's not accurate. Those things are not true. So that's what I find uh, uh, interesting. Well, it's a big movement now, and it's going to get bigger. There's going to be more. What was it somebody said who was in the movement at the beginning? He said, uh, I was in the 60s, too. And he said, the 60s were a family at the start, and they were a freak show at the end. I hate to, I hate to give you food for, I shouldn't tell you this, but I always heard that one of the reasons, one of the arguments in World War II by Americans was that the Germans had uh, a policy of papers in identification and national identification. So, so you're right. I mean, there, there, there is a fine line. You, and, you and know, um, people have to be conscious of of forces that may be doing harm. But you I know don't necessarily right? think government. I don't really necessarily think that our national government is this evil. Uh, empire that is out to control us like some kind of machine zombie from the Matrix or something. At I mean, an individual level, you know, it mostly probably isn't. It's more systemic no. issue. It's such a stable system that it's had a chance to grow for such a long time with no reboots. And I think that's where we're getting the problem from. It's natural, but it's still it's, 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 bad. it's as dangerous as a hurricane. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info, it's a great place for Bitcoins to go.